So guys, someone was asking me about Terence Crawford and, and saying that, you know, just because, you know, you can be a great fighter, but that doesn't mean that, you know, you, you set, you, you know, you're going to sell, you're going to be a huge, uh, name or draw. And you, you know, not all fighters are great promoters, great self promoters. And that's what basically Terence Crawford is. Terence Crawford's a great fighter. He's not a great promoter. Floyd Mayweather was a great fighter, but also a great promoter. That's why a lot of fighters have promoters because they're not, the promoter does the job to promote them. Some fighters like Mayweather, like probably Tyson Fury, right? They promote themselves. Some fighters like Amir Khan, for example, he, he was, he wasn't even self-promoted. He was just lucky that he was just, he just became famous of who he was and the fact that he was the first probably Asian star in the UK. So he became a huge star globally. So he was kind of lucky because he's not, he's not known for being a great promoter. He tr does a lot of trash talking. He's not like that, but he was, he, you know, he, he was self, like he, he became famous and that helped him in his boxing career. That helped him in, in, in getting huge paydays. And that just helped, that helped him become a massive star. Some guys like Fury, Muhammad Ali back in the day, um, you know, Mayweather, these were self-promoters. Again, Manny Pacquiao is probably another guy who had a country behind him. Canelo's another guy that had a huge country behind him. They're not great promoters. They don't promote themselves. That's why these guys have got promoters. Canelo's got De La Hoya. You know, Manny Pacquiao had Bob Arum. Now he's got Al Heyman. You know... Not every fighter can be a great promoter. Only few can have that kind of art. And unfortunately for Terence Crawford, he's a great fighter, unbelievable talent. Probably up there, maybe when his career finishes, he might be up there with a Mayweather. Probably not as good as Mayweather, but he'll be up there as one of an all-time, you know, an all-time great. But his lack of promotion skills, his lack, lack of ability to promote himself may hurt his career in terms of becoming that all-time great like a Mayweather might, you know, might not put him so high because of the fact that, the, you know, he wasn't able to promote himself and not get those big fights, you know, because he, he, he's not a big money man. So when you're as good as Terence Crawford, people don't necessarily want to jump into a fight with you unless they're getting paid huge amounts of money. But if you're not a big draw, you're not a big ticket seller like a Terence Crawford, then you're not going to be you're not going to be paying the guys that you're fighting huge money so they're going to probably not want to get in the ring with you because of the risk that you bring to their career and that and that's the problem Terence Crawford's a great fighter but not a great promoter you know and this is why i said that a lot of you were saying you know what Terence Crawford needs to leave top rank Terence Crawford needs to go there the problem is Terence Crawford could leave top rank but the only problem is he'd have to go with another promoter. Terence Crawford isn't a big enough star to do it all alone. Do you understand? You know, there are some fighters like Mayweather. He went alone. He was doing things by himself. You know, he had a team around him, of course, but he was doing things himself. Even a guy on a lesser scale, someone like Khan, Amir Khan, he didn't have a promoter. He had a promoter early on, Frank Warren. Then he went with De La Hoya. But after that, he didn't have a promoter. Then he joined with Eddie Hearn, of course. But really, Eddie Hearn didn't really promote anything to him. Khan sold himself. Eddie, he just needed to work with Eddie Hearn because he he wanted he needed to be on Sky. And you, you can't be on Sky as a UK fighter unless you work with Hearn. That's why he joined Matchroom. But Eddie Hearn hasn't done any promotional work for Khan. It's kind of sold itself. He's just using Eddie Hearn to get, get the platform that Eddie Hearn brings with his uh, Matchroom, you know, being with Matchroom, you know, but Eddie N, I don't think he's done a huge, any promotional job. Khan kind of sells himself, you know, that's why, he, you know, the Canelo fight, he didn't have any promoter getting that fight. Even the Crawford fight, he negotiated himself. Eddie N openly said that I didn't, I, I was I knew what was going on, but I wasn't negotiating anything. It was Khan's team that was doing that. He's got all the big fights himself. You know, Canelo, he did it himself. I don't, at that time, he didn't even have a promoter. So when you're a big name, you can go around, you can float around. Mikey Garcia does that. I don't know if he's tied with, with Al Heyman, but he does things himself. But that's the problem. Terence Crawford, for me, is a great fighter, just not a great promoter. And that's probably going to be his downfall in becoming a, a massive star. 
But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you're thinking, guys. Remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.